Hi guys, I'm Jude from The Watch Centre and today we're going to be talking about the top three Rolexes that we would buy in today's market. So starting off with uh, number one, I would say is my personal favourite, is a uh, Rolex Daytona, um, model reference 116-500LN. Um, it's a stainless steel watch, um, stainless steel case, bezel and bracelet uh, with a black ceramic insert. Uh, personally, up against the white dial, I think the contrast works quite well. It's, I would say, Rolex is one of their high-end sort of sports model watches, um, but where it is stainless steel, it has sort of the durability to be like an everyday watch as well. Um, in terms of value, I think the recommended retail price may be sort of around 10 and 11,000 pounds now, um, but it's also a good watch in terms of holding its value because I believe one of these now are sort of around a 32,000 pound mark. This was introduced around 2015. Um, it was an upgrade on the older model, which was a 116520. Um, the main changes being the contrasting uh, bezel as a, to the colour dial. Uh, before it used to be a white dial or a black dial with a steel bezel. Now you've got the contrast. In terms of its functions, it's a simple chronograph watch. Obviously Daytonas were designed for racing drivers to help them with their timing. Um, it's got your basic sort of small seconds dial at six o'clock and then your sort of 30 minute and 12 hour rec recorders at three and nine o'clock. So to round off, I mean, you can't go wrong with a Daytona. It's, it looks good, um, it holds its value and it's an all time classic. So coming at number two, um, it's quite different from the Daytona. It's a day date. Um, as you can see, it's a full yellow gold watch. Uh, so it's a lot more weightier as opposed to the Daytona. Reference number 228238. Um, it's got a 40mm case size, which is actually an increase um, on the standard day date size, which is normally 36mm. It's a lovely timepiece, but I would say not one that you'd wear every day, just because obviously with the metal, it does scratch quite easily. Where the day tunnel was an everyday watch, I would say this isn't just because obviously gold is a softer material, precious metal. Um, so you, you've got to look after this one a little bit more, I'd say. In terms of value, I believe it's sort of going for around a 35k mark, um, still selling for slightly above retail. In terms of its range, I mean, it's an all time classic. You can't really go wrong with a day date. You could probably wear it on a suit, dress it up a little bit more. Um, the President bracelet as well. It's a lot more, I would say, sort of sophisticated as opposed to the oyster bracelets on the stainless steel uh, models. Uh, the clasp as well, it's concealed and sort of hidden beneath the bracelet, which is sort of makes the watch sort of come together as one a bit more. Um, the fluted bezel as well, just gives it a bit more of a classier touch, if you like. But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, a, I would say, a treat um, to sort of wear every now and again, I would say a day date is the way to go. And then lastly, it's a Rolex Submariner. I would say maybe one of the more well-known Rolex models. This in particular is known as a Hulk uh, due to the green dial and green bezel of the watch. Model reference 116610LV. Um, again, this watch is one I would say that's possibly in demand more than the other previous two watches just simply because it is actually discontinued now. It's not a, it's not a model Rolex produce anymore. And as you say, it's nicknamed the Hulk and these things have a way of adding value to watches and uh, certain collectors. Um, it's fairly standard watch. As I say, it's a Submariner date. So its main function is obviously the date function. Again, stainless, stainless steel throughout with the Oyster bracelet. Um, you can see the clasp there is an Oyster lock clasp as opposed to the concealed day date clasp. Um, again, it's a lot more robust, a lot more durable. So I would say it's more of a dress down watch if you like, if you can sort of say that about these sort of valuable watches. Um, in terms of value, um, this is a pre-owned piece and I believe they're going for about £20,000 at the moment. So again, in terms of even investment, if you were to purchase one of these and keep it in good condition, you, you can't really go wrong. Um, it's 40, 40 mm case size, so standard sort of size really. 
So where I mentioned sort of the value of, of the Hulk and where it's now discontinued, even if it wasn't, if you were to go into Rolex and sort of ask for one of these sort of in-demand models, you'd be asked to put in a, a waiting list. You'd be on there for two, three years. You may not even end up with one. So obviously the demand for these are really high, which then means people come to us because they don't want to wait and they're happy sort of to pay the premium. But I mean, as I say, for a watch like this, if you're paying in premium, chances are, if in a few years, just keep it in good condition, you want to make a profit on it, um, I reckon you'd be pretty good to go. Uh, so just to wrap up, um, I hope you've enjoyed the video um, of sort of the three most popular Rolexes we purchased in today's market. Um, let us know in the comments if there's, or if there's any other brands you'd like us to feature next. And yeah, see you guys next time.